My name is Bhavik Gutka. I work at Capital One, Direc Director of Software Engineering. I've had different roles, uh, engineering side, then DevOps, I led DevOps teams, and then currently in my role, I'm leading the site reliability engineering at Card Technology. So we are going to talk about evolution of incident management and how DevOps plays a role. So what is DevOps? I don't think most of you will need to know this. You all know it's it, in, a, in one line, it's about shortening your development life cycle for your business goals. But we will be talking about how it's going to apply in the world of incident management. For developers, DevOps is all about continuous integration, continuous deployment. Any developers here? All you want to do is just code, right? Uh, and not, nothing else. Uh, business or product managers, what, why do they care about DevOps? For them, it's all about faster time to market, wow the customers, beat the competitors. The only question they care about is, when will my change go live? So what about incident management? DevOps is generally all about shipping code to production as fast as possible. But then there are things, bad things that happen once the code goes into production, and there are incidents. So we will be focusing on that. Definition, life cycle, goals, evolution, role of DevOps. So next few slides are all going to be about what we think of how DevOps can play a role in incident management. So let's start with what is incident management. General thoughts, forget the definition for a second. General thoughts, it's boring, it's stress, I hate it, it's thankless. Um, the one that I heard was, I love incidents, but only when I'm out of office. I don't want to deal with incidents when I'm in the office. So incident management, the life cycle is, it's like a race against time. The problem starts, you have to detect the problem, so that's time to detect. Then you have to mobilize the right people or right scripts, resources, whatever. That's time to mobilize, and then you have to finally restore the incident. So what are the goals of incident management? We want to reduce the time to recover the incidents uh, after the disruption. So TTD, detect, TTM, mobilize, TTR, restore. So let's talk about the evolution of incident management, how it happened in past. Anybody familiar with this kind of like operations guys are chasing a developer, they finally somehow get that developer, and the developer says, oh, I'm in a movie hall, give me 30 minutes, and a lot of time is wasted. So what happens there? Slow detection, slow mobilization of the developer, and slow remediation. A Lot of time was wasted in getting the guy, and the guy was not available for whatever reason. So stage two, then of course, we started improving. We started doing a lot of monitoring, automated monitoring. But we still, when the issue happened, we still had to get the developer they had some kind of uh, form of run books or playbooks, which means they will have some documentation on how to solve a problem. But it's still manual. Detection is fast, but mobilization or remediation may or may not be fast because the run book might be outdated, the operations guy might not understand the steps in the run book, and so on. So still, it's not great. But of course, things got better later. Stage three, we now react using a script or an automated run book. Whatever earlier was a document, now it's a script, uh, but can there be problems still? There can be. Operation guy is not able to download the script, and they call the developer, and the developer is again mad. He says, I hate you, the script was there, you just had a wrong URL for the script. Anybody, I'm not sure if anybody had that kind of experience, but from developer perspective, they automated it from operations guy, hey, your URL you gave me was wrong, or whatever. So DevOps way to do incident management. It's, this definition you won't find anywhere, this, I just came up with that, like shorten the incident management life cycle for the operational objectives, whereas the DevOps that we normally know is about business objectives. So what we came up with at Capital One is event-based remediation or runbook as a service is what we call it, where your monitoring tools will detect the problem, and then if it's a known problem, it will be solved using a known solution, using an automated script, or it might just call a known team if it's an unknown problem. So this is how it looks like, faster detection, faster mobilization of either the scripts or the team. If it's a known problem, it's a script. If it's an unknown problem, it's a team. And why did we build this platform? We, we wanted a hub of all the runbooks in the company where based on the monitoring tools detection, based on the rules, it can configure, it can automate, or it can invoke the right runbook. And if they cannot invoke the right runbook, it can just call the right team. What, what we have solved so far using this runbook as a service platform, multi-region failover of databases, uh, disk-based cleanup, restart of failed instances. Uh, we support both auto-remediation and on-demand remediation. Long story short, it's about faster detection, which we all do, 
but more importantly, faster mobilization of either the scripts for a known problem or people for the unknown problem, and then more importantly, cutting down the time it takes to restore incidents. Thank you.